<laughs> well, hey everybody, Jeff Williams here with SJFWilliams.com. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what are we doing today? Well, today we're working with the Sierra Blaster again, if you haven't figured that out already. And how are we going to do today? Well, this is a continuation from another video. This is a part two. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't seen the video for this one, I'm going to leave a link right up here. How to blast rock to get gold. Click on it, watch it, and then you'll understand why I'm out here fiddling around in the middle of nowhere on a gloomy day like today. So anyway, so what we're going to do is, remember I told you I was going to, in part one, I was going to explain some more to the Sierra Blaster that I think you should know. Tips and tricks. All right, so what are we doing today? Now this is more for your plaster miners instead of your hard rock miners. Okay, because remember I told you, you could use this thing either way. Now over here is, I know, I know, this is not what you're typically gonna find in the mother low country. You're gonna find a lot of granite out there and, and black slate. But anyway, this is good representation. See this big old monker right here? Yeah, that's right. This is a big old, looks like a thousand pound piece of limestone. And remember I told you about limestone in most tests, about 3.5 and 4 on the hardness scale. And there's bedding planes. Actually, the bedding planes run this way. See that? So I got my holes drilled in there. And then I'm going to show you how to load this thing up and see if we can split it open. Sound good to you? Sound good to me, too. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on, let's go. Ooh, are you ready to go off? I hope so. Not in front of my face. Oh, so anyway. <laughs> so what we got here is I already got one head loaded up ready to go. I maxed out that hole all the way to the bottom. Now remember in part one I showed you how to properly determine the depth on your rock so you get maximum efficiency out of these things okay. That's very important if you haven't seen that go back but you're gonna need a measuring stick just like this one right here and I've already cleaned my hole out and you can see I'm that far down see that that's some good depth. Mmm smells like limestone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we going to do? Remember I told you, you can either put water in here or you can put boosters in there. So what I've done, or what I'm going to do, is you get a box of boosters that comes with your Sierra Blaster. You see that? And you're going to load them up in the hole. Make sure they go all the way down to the bottom. See that? Kind of like in the old days where they would tamp the dynamite down into the hole. Remember that? Oh, you probably were too young. So you're going to make sure that you fill up that hole with some charges. See that? Because you want to make sure that your rod is in as far as you can go, but you don't want it all the way bottomed out and then leaving a gap of air because this guy is not going to set off those boosters. They have to be in contact with each other. Are you hearing me? <laughs> I hope you're hearing me. Okay, so there's something else I want to show you before I get ready to load this hole. Now. I know some guys have problems with misfires and I can understand that. There's a way to get around that. All right, so what do we got here? All right, so what do I got here? I got a cheap multimeter. You don't have to go out and get a fluke or something like that. It's a fluke. <laughs> I know. You just get yourself an inexpensive one that can do a continuity test if you guys know how to do that. You should if you're playing with this. All right, so you're going to put it on continuity test. Hear that? I know that I'm making connection. Now what you're doing is you're checking the bridge wire in here. There's a little tiny bridge wire inside of this primary charge. And you want to make sure that it's intact and hasn't ruptured. So I've already got my firing head already primed. So I'm going to come down here to the connectors. See that? Now I know my bridge wire and my connection is good. Of course you could take it all the way out to the firing line. But if I got it good here, I'm not touching the wires now. I want you to see that. I'm touching right here at the bottom of the metal itself. See that? And I hear that and I know I've got continuity. So then I know that this guy's good to go. I'm going to set him down on the ground. Don't set him up because you fall on him, you're going to have another belly button. And you don't want that. And then I'm going to load these holes up and make sure that these heads are in as far as they can go. But not to the point where there's air below them and they're bottomed out. So let me do that and then we'll get ready to fire this thing. So you know what I'm gonna say? Ah, you're not slim. So come on, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they got something out of there. Yeah, look at that. 
You be careful because these pieces are sharp. Now, come here, take a look at this. All right, so this is not This is one of my heavy rocks right here. I used to, to weight down my charges. See that? And that's another one right there. See that? I just want you to get a, a take a look inside. There. Heavy monkers. Okay, so remember what I told you is limestone fracture is real easy. So, and I told you, you have to go at least halfway to three quarter down into that rock if you want it to fracture right. Now I could have probably done this with one head and I've seen old timers do it all the time. You just have to know exactly where to drill and how deep. Now take a look at that, see that? Well, you can see my charges, they went off. Of course they're empty. And then down below, see this? These are my boosters. Each one went off because I can tell they're deformed. But like I said, the key, look at that, all the way down, there's my borehole. It had fractured it beautifully. Now I'll, I'll be able to come in here with a crowbar and move this out of the way. And if there was any plastic gold underneath it, like in a stream, it'd be nothing for me to move this stuff out and get underneath where nobody else has been. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jeff, what about the big rocks, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, the big rocks are just the same as the little rocks. All you have to do, like I said, is get halfway to three quarter in. Now that might mean that you're gonna have to invest in a very, very long drilling rod. <laughs> or maybe you could fabricate your own. But anyway, my point is, is it's all about the drilling. It's all about how you load them and the compression. And I'm, I'm gonna look for a big rock out here the size of a house. And I'm gonna prove my point that I can blast any rock with these. I only need two. Technically, I only need one. So anyway, I want you to see this. If you got questions on how this works, please, I want you to, to leave a comment down below. So anyway, we're gonna go up and do some more gold mining because that's what I'm out here to do. Because I can smell it. I know it's out here. I gotta have it. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? So come on. Let's go. <laughs> Like I said, while you've been sleeping, me and Slim been digging. Look at this. I done mucked out my whole portal. Yeah. Look at that. I know you're thinking, what the heck did you bring that dolly for? Because the wheelbarrow's too big, fool. That's why. So what am I going to do? I'm going to muck out some of this overburden. And I'm gonna open this up a little bit further, widen this out so I can get my special wheelbarrow in here. And then we're gonna start sampling because I know, I just know there's gold in there. You gotta know it too, don't you? So come on, let's go. I gotta widen it out just a little bit to fit the wheels in there. And then you know what? I'm gonna plant some corn. That's right. And maybe some beets and tomatoes. Now, kids at home, this is what happens when you got gold fever. Ooh, look at that, I can drive my car in there. Yeah. 40 ton of rock. It's a mother load. Oh, all right, so you're probably wondering, how the heck are you doing this? Well, what I've done is I got a, a doll in. I got a little plastic tub, although I'm finding out that you have to have something stronger than plastic. Cause this thing ruptures. And then what do I do? That's right. Cause I've been working. i digging. I'm working. Woo! Just around midnight. I am so tired. How long can this go on? Woo! I'll tell you what, no way you slice it. Go my head, hard work! Ah! Okay, so, whew. what are we doing? Well, just like the old timers, and even the miners today, once you get your little ore cart filled up, what do you do? Well, in this case, our little cut here for our portal is too narrow for a wheelbarrow. Maybe later. But for right now, I have to improvise. And that's what I'm using right here. It's the AskJeffWeaves.com Gold Line Special. Only $9.95. Uh,
And if you order now, I'll throw in a bucket of dirt. No additional charge. But you better order now, cause supplies are limited. And you know Slim, he's gonna get every bit. How's that for ingenuity? I want to see what's coming out of here. Lime and I, baby. Lime and I. There's some of the darker material right there. There's a big old thick vein of it in there. <sighs> but I gotta work my heart out to get that shiny. It's killing me. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna crush some of this up and I'll try to get a snapshot of it at the end of the video. Woo, man. Don't give up your J job. <laughs> All right, I hope you've enjoyed today's short little clip on using Sierra Blaster and, of course, driving these drift tunnels. Woo! And if you enjoyed today's episode, please rate, share, and subscribe! Yeah, I know. And leave me and Slim a comment. By the way, where is Slim? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Anyway, until next time, this is Jeff Williams with Who? That's right! That's Jeff Williams.com! <laughs> Say, you put your shovel in the hole, you take the dirt on out, you get some uh, lime and I, and the gold makes you shout. You do the hokey pokey, and that's what it's all about. Take care, everybody.